<laughs> what are you looking at? What? Some raggedy Instagram post. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that's cold blooded. <laughs> well, I'm a Jay Walker, got a lot of fresh damage, oh no. I can't always be around to explore foreign love, overflowing for your love. And not, I'm sure that when we argue, makes me dream about those demon fishes. It's not the way that it's meant to be. In. <laughs> <laughs> are you that lazy? <laughs> that took more time to Look, spell just, out hashtag. You just, <laughs> I got you back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we have the GG bumper on with the insert. Nothing's really bolted up yet, but yeah, looks like it's going to fit pretty good. Now, I know looking at it, it doesn't look like it will, but nothing's tight yet. So I think everything's going to be good. Plus, we're going to be getting some new fenders uh, here pretty soon. So what do you guys think of the color of the engine bay? This is, again, once everything's been clear coated sprayed some stuff kind of make it make it look nice again these are the side skirts for the Celine. there again we're probably not going to run those uh we may for right now we can't put the fender extensions on because these are uh pre-91 fenders so they don't fit it's like right here uh the bolt holes do not match up and the fenders just it, it doesn't work so these won't work on these particular fenders that's okay though, we are getting some more and we may go ahead and snatch the back bumper off and put the Cobra bumper on and the wing today. So we should have most of the body kit stuff like on the car and then from there, we just have to adjust everything and make it work. In this light though, you can actually see this fender here. It's probably a good thing that we're gonna be getting some new fenders because there's definitely some work to be done there. Also, I checked the car with a magnet, with a very weak magnet, and uh, so far I've not found any filler uh, in the rear quarter of the car on either side. So that's a good thing. So uh, we are about to remove the rear bumper and put on the Cobra rear bumper. Well, as soon as Andrew hurries the hell up. All right, so as you can see, we have the rear bumper off. We're going to fit up the Cobra bumper. Y'all wanna just hold it up there and see what it looks like? The molding has to come off the side of the car, but that's okay. Uh, just kind of stretch it around it for now looks like everything's gonna line up so we're gonna go ahead remove the molding on the side of the car and uh, get this thing kind of temporarily bolted up as you can see uh, we're, we're trying to mock everything up before we start on the car like sanding we'll actually blow the car apart before we're done we have to get the new fenders so that these pieces line up and yes we are still running the Celine stuff for right this second and uh, we're gonna get these off get this bumper on we'll see what it looks like give you guys a quick tip of how to remove like 3m tape from the side of your car or really anywhere you know these moldings are put on with 3m tape and it can be a nightmare to get off so I'll give you a quick tip spray a little wd-40 on top so that it soaks down and they sell these at harbor freight i've actually sharpened mine up a little bit but come in and start to push on it and believe it or not that you can see right here where it's shiny WD-40 will work its way down in there and the glue just has no ability to be able to stick anymore. So just do that and you can pretty much remove all of your 3M tape here. And at this point, all you have to do is sand and everything should be good to go. Or if you just need to remove it, this will help you out there. Let me go ahead and finish this up. As you can see, we have the bumper on the car. We have the 93 Cobra spoiler. That's the best part of this whole thing right there. These pieces are not going to fit correctly uh, until we get our new fenders from what I understand anyway. They're not designed for these fenders. I'll show you guys the inside. If you're new to the channel, you've not seen this car. Here you go. It's uh, not really a looker, <laughs> but um, hopefully we will have the parts for this thing to really tidy up the interior here pretty soon. I have a lot of them already. But uh, we will get into all of this detailing the interior here real soon. Also, I hope the video and the audio uh, is better at least. I have upgraded cameras. I have went to the new Osmo Action. So it's made by DJI. It's supposed to be really good. Hopefully the image stabilization and all that works good. It's like pretty much right out of the box. So 
I don't think I have the image stabilization on right. I'm trying to step things up a little bit for you guys. So uh, we'll see how this works out. Everything fits pretty good. Like I said, I'm just ready to get started on the body work on this thing. It's just, it's tearing at me. I'm telling you, it's eating me up. This is probably going to be your Friday video. Not a lot going on uh, because I really can't do anything until the fenders come in and that's gonna be Friday. That's my only day off, so more than likely, you're not gonna get a video uh, of any of that until Monday. So Monday's video should show you how to install the spoiler, um, putting the fenders on, and putting the side skirts on. So hopefully, that video will be out Monday. If you guys do not know, on these particular spoilers, you have your factory holes from your, your regular GT spoiler or even your LX spoiler, and they do not line up, so you have to drill all new holes. Well, I did not get a template for this, so we basically have to make a template. So I'm basically just gonna take some paper, lay the thing down, trace it all out, and mark my holes out. I'm gonna have to weld these holes up. So all of these little holes here are gonna have to be welded up. It's basically the same process that I used on the engine bay up here. Engine bay is looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. And this green is just popping, guys. I know you can't really see it, the camera doesn't look like it's picking it up very good, but it's popping. It looks good. That spoiler though, guys, that is that is it. If you want to know what makes a 93 Cobra a 93 Cobra, it is from here back. To me, that just does it. With the tailpipes coming out, those ROH wheels, those will be coming off. We are going to be putting the 93 Cobra wheels on the car just because they look the tits. We're gonna take the fenders off the car and we're gonna spray up in behind everything uh, all the door jams so that everything looks nice and crispy and clean. We're gonna obviously do all door jams all the way around. We're gonna take the hatch off more than likely and we're gonna spray everything back there and make sure this looks really good. Once we get the new fenders and we get the side skirts in tomorrow, we're gonna fit everything up real nice and neat, verify that it works and then pull it all off. At that point, anything that's gonna be covered up, we're going to spray in behind it. So we're gonna go ahead and spray all of those spots on this car so that whenever we put the bumpers and the side skirts on, all we have to do is shoot some base and some clear, and we know that behind everything has paint. I know a lot of you guys are gonna say you should paint your bumpers off the car, um, but honestly, that's not how I wanna do this. I, I don't wanna scratch the car up, that's the thing. After I put this much time and effort into it, I don't want everything scratched up. So I would like to fit everything back up, spray it all together as one, maybe like keep some stuff loose. So, you know, like loosen up, have a gap in between some stuff uh, so that clear coat gets in it. But I just don't want to risk scratching it up, guys. And remember, everywhere that's going to be covered, we're going to go in with base coat and we're going to spray it anyway. So it's going to have paint behind everything. So what should we call the car? You guys know I have been calling it the Calypso Cobra, but you know what? I don't want to step on any toes. I have an 04 Cobra, a Terminator, and I kind of know how it feels, but at the same time, I'm no elitist. It doesn't bother me. If you want to build yourself a Cobra, then do that. Just don't try to pass it off as a Cobra. Now, I'm not going to try to pass this off as a Cobra, but Calypso Cobra sounds good, and it makes sense. Ultimately, when you look at the car, you're going to think Cobra. That's the whole point of it. It's just going to be Calypso, which, if you guys do not know, often gets confused with Teal Metallic on the 93 Cobras. I don't know why it is, but a lot of people think that that's Calypso on those cars. It's not. If you see a real 93 Cobra and it's greenish teal or whatever, that's actually teal metallic. That is not the same color that we're spraying in this car. Give me some ideas, guys. Drop some good, cool names down below that we should call the car, and you never know, I might use it. What I have been thinking about is just the Calypso clone. I think that works. Um, the Calypso Cobra is a real catchy title. One other thing, we've not talked about it a lot lately, but... There's always an Amazon affiliate link down below. So how this works is it's like a portal. You click that link and once you're inside, once you're inside that link and you're on Amazon, you can purchase anything you want to, anything that you were already gonna buy, and I get a percentage off of it. So if you would like to support the channel rather than sending money and doing a Patreon and stuff like that, just click the link down below anytime you wanna purchase something from Amazon go in order whatever it is you want to order on amazon and i get a cut off of it so that really helps me out hey it'll help with the build if nothing else i want to go ahead and cut this video short guys uh be waiting for the video come monday whenever we install the rest of the parts that we got and this thing should start coming together all right guys as always thanks for watching